Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 286. That is, what is test summary report? Let me answer. So what is a test summary report? Test summary report in some companies is also known as sign off report or quality report guys. You can either call it as test summary report, sign off report or quality report. Okay, so what is the purpose? Why the software testers have to create or prepare such kind of test summary report? Okay, what is the purpose? So what the testing team will do is when the testing comes to the end and when uh, there is a situation where the software has to be released into the market. All the stakeholders are already discussing about uh, let's release this particular version of the software into the market. Okay, such kind of situation. What the testing team will do is they will prepare this test summary report or sign off report or quality report, whatever you can call. Okay, so to formally communicate to all the stakeholders. Okay, that they have completed the testing. The testing team has completed the testing is one I, one thing that they want to communicate saying that we have completely tested the application. That is one thing. Second thing is here we are if the quality of the uh, current version of the software is very good. Okay, if testing team also believes that the current version of the software is very stable and uh, can be released into the market then approval okay the testing team can provide approval in the form of this report okay and third thing is so there may be some situations where the stakeholders may decide to release the software into the market okay to release the software into the market but testing team knows that there are still some critical major defects still available in the software how can the team release in that case also the testing team may formally create this test summary report and formally communicate to all the stakeholders providing their judgment on whether the software can be released into the market or not. This is what is test summary report guys. Okay, this is what is test summary report when the testing comes to an end and uh, the stakeholders are in a situation of releasing software into the market. Either we have to provide approval or we have to give our judgment in a formal way. Okay, for that we have to prepare a report known as test summary report. Okay, I'll give an example guys. There is an example report. So I already opened that uh, link here. So this is the quality report or test summary report or sign off report, whatever you can call it. Okay, for this particular application, we have created the report. So there are three items here. Th this is one of the template, guys. Different companies may use different templates. Okay, so this is one of the template uh, that one of the company may use. Okay, don't think that all the templates in all the companies will be same, but this is one sample you can say. So here, as part of table of items, you see a table of contents, quality status, test environments, cover list of existing defects is provided. So first of all, quality status, whether the software testing team is recommending the release of the software into the market or not. Okay, here we are not recommending guys. In this, in this sample one, in this example, quality report, we are not recommending, saying that the quality of the this particular application having this version as 13.56 is better than the previous versions. Okay, in this version, the important issues are still available. Okay, whatever the important defects are there, they're st uh, still available and hence we are not recommending. Okay, since there are some important critical defects available in this particular version of the software, we as software testing team are not recommending this version of the software for release into the market. That's what we are stating here. And also at same time, we are communicating saying that we completed our testing though. Okay, though we are not recommend this particular release for uh, into the market due to the important defects, but here we are indirectly stating that we have tested in all the test environments. Our coverage is done. Our testing is done, guys. We have tested in all these available or supportable or must and should tested environments. Okay, the, all the list of environments we provided. And also, just to create an impact, uh, why we are not recommending this particular version of the software for release, we, we can create a lot of diagrams, guys. We can get this kind of diagrams in Excel sheets or and you can copy paste the images here. You can make it even more impactful. Okay, this is a very simple diagram. Uh, in in which functionalities, how many defects are there? You can also raise the bar saying that uh, uh, in which functionalities, important defects, critical defects are still left out. Like that also, you can. That's a good idea. Okay, you can improvise this diagram if you want. Okay, this is just a template, guys. Okay, and also here we have mentioned the list of uh, defects that are still available in the software. Okay, which uh, need to be fixed by developers. And uh, most of the defects are minor defect, but uh, as you can see, some major and major defect is there. Critical, major, major. 
okay like that some somewhere here and there some major defects are there guys okay four to five major defects are there one critical one to one or two critical defects are still there that's the reason we are not recommending this particular version of the software to be released into the market okay this is what is just summary report sign off report or quality report whatever you call guys so hope guys you got an idea of what exactly is a just summary report in this session so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye